Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Not So Very Sad. I know you guys just had an episode yesterday, but again, I want to get through this, so we have another episode today. So it is Celeste's birthday, and I think what we're gonna do is first have her go to work because I obviously want her to try and get a promotion as soon as she can. I think she might actually get one because she's in good standing right now, so I'm hoping. Also, if you can tell, I have done a little bit of making over in the house. I wanted to kind of change things up a little bit and make make it a little cozier. So I decided to put some photos up in this area because since you can't see them usually on this wall, I decided to just move them over. And then we have a beautiful photo of Kale and Jeanette and <laughs> I miss my babies. Also, this is going to be a laundry room, but I didn't have enough money. I might, I might have enough money to buy one, but that's kind of on hold at the moment. We have more photos over here. This is Celeste and Atlas's bedroom. Then we go upstairs. I did go ahead and make a separate room for winter. It's not the best by any means. And then I kind of updated um, the teens' rooms. And now Ivory also has her own room. And I think it's the biggest room out of all the kids, which is she's kind of lucky now that I think about it. But... Yeah, in the house, I changed the exterior as well, so now it's like this dark blue color. I kind of like it. It feels like more finished to me than it did with the other wood. I just want to keep you guys updated since, you know, we started with like literally an empty house. It's kind of cool to be able to see it progress and stuff. So just slight updates here and there. Now, I do want her to try and level up her writing skills, so I did go ahead and look up exactly what she needs to do to be ready for her next promotion. So, she has to be level, I believe it was 7? No, level 8 of writing and then level 6 of gourmet cooking, which she's actually about to be finished with. So, we should be on the right track, which makes me really excited because I just want to finish. No, leave the plates for, uh, what's his face? For Moon. Yeah, there we go. Leave them for Moon. <laughs> so Celeste actually has a whole bunch of vegetables in her inventory. So I think I'm just going to give that to Atlas so he can just recycle all that. No, that means our bills are here and I don't have any money. Oh my god. Wait, I made such a mistake. I decided to renovate our house when we have literal bills to pay. Oh man. Well, that wasn't really smart of me now, was it? Well, maybe we can have... <laughs> maybe we'll have Kale... Um do his thing all right so you're gonna go to work maybe he'll craft some tables for us and then we'll be good i believe i was saying this on stream how i wish that you could just like type a number in here instead of having to press this because if you're trying to like put in like 99 of them it's so it's gonna take so much longer you know what i mean it, this is this takes way more work unless there's a quicker way to do it and i don't know please let me know in the comments if there is wait don't you have school today you literally do oh my god ivory sweetheart school kiddo Oh my gosh, she's literally an hour, over an hour late. The way she's just casually walking. Oh, look it! Our manners are almost in range. I'm sorry I'm so obs I'm obsessing over this, but it's just I want to be like in good standing with everything. If she doesn't come home in a good mood, I'm just going to give her a moodlet solver so that we can have her go out with some friends. Knowing your scholarship, baby, we're not going to university. No, no. So I'm excited. We might go with um, Madeline, Yasmin, maybe Stevie. Definitely Fern. I want to develop that relationship with Fern because it's very, very new. Oh, and obviously Enya. I want to take Enya out with us too. No, 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 no. Don't clean up. Don't clean up. Don't. Atlas, I love that you want to help. I really do, but we really need those dishes for Moon, so not today. It feels so good not having, like, little kids anymore because I don't have to worry about, like, taking care of them all the time. They just go to school, and I'm all set now, so it's it's beautiful. I'd love to be able to use this trellis somewhere, but I have absolutely no clue where I would put it. So I don't think I'm going <laughs> to, I don't think I'm going to make it. We do need to still focus on Moon's acting. So now that he's 18, he can actually work on the acting skill, which will really help us in the long run because he is going into acting, of course. So I think that'll be really awesome. So, oh, we can already work on his aspiration too. Wait, this is perfect actually. So achieve level three of acting skill and practice acting for two hours. Oh my God, we so got this. And I do believe that the next promotion is the last one i was looking it up online to see how many they can level up and i believe that is the last one so we have to increase acting skill to level three to become a junior artiste and we just need to practice some new lines using the mirror or by selecting a sim so i had our research art and this is performance gain medium so did that actually help by any chance oh my god wait guys she could probably get promoted 
<laughs> I'm gonna freak out because I just wanted to be done with the career. Guys, the fact that we're so close is crazy. Now, the only thing that's gonna take us the longest is her aging up into an elder and then dying. So, we're probably gonna be with her for a hot minute still. Well, by hot minute, it really depends on how much I really progress <laughs> within the next few episodes. But within that, we can focus on Moon, which is perfect because then we can get um, a head start in his career and everything by doing what we need to. So, it's not all bad. Oh, so because she's a workaholic, her she has increased work performance gain. <gasps> I love that. Can go to work on off hours and demand promotion from boss. Wait a second, I can do that? Hold on, if that is the case, I could try and do just that. Should Winter invite over classmate Iris? Sure. I don't know who that is, but let's invite them over. I love how they all went to school in their PJs. Why don't they change out of their clothes? Oh, it's this girl. Hi, I know you. You've been here before. Oh, <gasps> yes! Promoted to Kitchen's Worst Nightmare. Celeste, I'm so happy. We're literally one away. One away. So I wonder if I were to... How do I, how would I ask for a promotion? Do I have to call up our boss or like, do I have to do that through a little menu when she goes to work? I'm really curious. Do we have enough to pay our bills though? Oh, we don't have enough for our bills. Oh shoot, okay. Well, that's not good. Let me see, maybe there's something in here that we can sell. Oh, we got a bunch of toys. Okay, then we'll definitely have enough to, to pay our bills in that case. We'll be poor again, but it's fine. We have to pay our bills. I don't wanna have our power go out again and be embarrassed, so. <laughs> She's not doing all that bad, honestly. So maybe I'll have her go to the bathroom and also pet a Capri to level that up. Now Capri, it's, it keeps saying that we need to take him to the vet clinic, but I don't see anything like visually that he's like not feeling well. So I'm not entirely sure. He has been feeling not that great either. So maybe we should take a visit to the vet and see what's up. It's crazy how much that boosts just from like interacting with your pet. All right, so you're tired now, so you can just head on to bed, my dude, and we'll take care of everything later on. So actually, no, before you head to bed, please clean up these dishes, actually, and then set the table so we can have that ready. All right, now what we need to do with you is have you go to the bathroom. Yeah, I know, I know. And we'll uh, head on out. I think we're gonna go over to a nightclub. So I do wanna try and purchase a candle making station for Duff to start working on. I wonder if her dad can help her out because he's clearly really crafty, especially with how his furniture making is going. So he is thriving. I wanna go and try and put these couches out though that he made. It still feels very empty here, but it's kind of like a little nice seating area that they have now. I think I'm gonna make her make her own birthday cake just so that uh, we can take it with us. Blue confetti cake. The way she just walked through the counters like it doesn't even exist. I don't know what is up with my Sims, honestly. The way Ivory's hair literally blends in with the counter, like she is one with the counter. That's the only issue that I'm gonna have with the white gen is being too bright. So I have to like try and figure out how to make it uh, not be as bright. But I think I'll work with that once we live in a full white place. So it's not as bad right now. Oh my, we only have 21 simoleons. All right, Atlas, we need to put you to work, hon, because we need money. <laughs> we desperately need money. So I did realize that this dresser actually gives you 600 simoleons. So we're gonna make that because the one that they used to have in here, I actually sold because I... I'm not really a big fan of the piece of furniture, if I'm being honest. So I decided to just go and uh, sell it. Um, so we could actually try and furnish this place a little bit more. Which I don't think it looks too bad as of right now. We've definitely come a long way since the beginning. And I'm really proud, I will say. So we're gonna add some birthday candles to this. Celeste can't afford this. Oh my god, no! Are you kidding? That is so embarrassing! Wait a second, what can I sell? That is <laughs> when you can't afford candles on a birthday cake. Yikes. All right, we have 789 simoleons now. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me sell this too. Because nobody's buying that. There we go. Let's take this into our inventory. Let's get dressed into our party outfit. Um, and we should be good. Oh my god, her summer outfit is so cute. How come we've never seen her wear it? Have we not played in summer with her? Look how cute that is! 
Anyways, let's go put on your party outfit and we'll be good to go. I'm not going to make it like an official birthday party either, just so that it doesn't mess things up. Oh yeah, I did it at a nightclub. I completely forgot about this one. Is this another one? Red nightclub lounge bar. Oh, I might go here. Oh, we could take our sisters too. I didn't even think about that. <gasps> Anya's an elder. Oh my God. How did you get so old so quick? So this is our opportunity to get to know Miss Fern very, very well. So I'm excited. I don't think we've been here. I don't remember. Actually, no, we did come here at one point. I don't remember when. It might have been last gen actually, because this place does look very familiar. Wow, we got, wow, look at them. Got that lipstick, red eyeshadow. All right, come through, Philippe. All right, let's go get some drink. Oh, review food. <gasps> we can do that. All right, why don't we go and review, not black olives, girl. Let's get something nice. Like, let's get pita and hummus tapas, I guess. <laughs> That's something. Hi, guys. Oh my god, Yasmin's pregnant. Hey, girly. She's actually really pretty. I feel like I've never actually seen her that much, really, now that I think about it. I barely see her. Wait, are you still pregnant? Or did you get pregnant again? Because I honestly do not remember. Oh, look at Enya with her gray hair. I cannot believe you're an elder right now. Uh, call to mail everybody. Uh, belittle it? Okay, let's just do it. Let's might as well. The way she's holding two servings! Oh no, one glitch. Oh, she's literally reviewing it. Okay, come through. She doesn't stop working when she goes out, apparently. She's still gonna go and review them. Why don't we come over here and dance together? Where's Fern, actually? Has she come through? I don't actually think Fern came. Hold on. Oh, I can only open her sim profile? What the heck? No, this is my opportunity to meet her and hang out. But I guess uh, that's not gonna happen. Fern is already here. Oh, she showed up. She just, she showed up late. Hi, Fern. How's it going, girly? Oh my God. I wish we could take like a huge group photo. That would've been so cool. There we go. Hey, the girls are out tonight. Oh, look at them. This makes me so happy. Look at my girls. I love them. Uh, invite Fern to dance. Oh my God, are you? Oh, I thought she was, her water was breaking or something. We got two pregnant ladies up in here. Oh, there we go. It says that Celeste's birthday's today. I know. I am very aware. Fern! Hey, girly! It's good to see you without a paper bag over your head because we know apparently that was the thing that was going on over in uh, Evergreen Harbor, but I fixed it, so we don't even need to worry about it. Can we take a photo with a bunch of them? I think the only way we could do that is if we, like, set up um, a whole thing. <gasps> Wait! Oh! They gained a sentiment. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. She got the same thing with Moon, but like, it makes me happy that she got a sentiment with, um, with Fern. Okay. I need to get this freaking affair out of the way, guys. I know. <laughs> I really have to. Share lifestyle tips. Oh, Rain's here. You weren't supposed to come here, but he's just like, I can't live without you. I can't believe they, don't, they never had kids. I wish they did, but like, maybe they didn't want kids, which is fine. Um, share more tips? Oh, and our relationship is going up. I don't know how we're in a conversation with Skylar when she's like over here. Oh, this is Blue. Oh my God, see, I don't even know their names. <laughs> Literally throughout the entire of Blue Gen, I can never remember their names. And I still can't, apparently. <laughs> uh, which is fine, you know? <laughs> uh, let's go get some drinks. We could review drinks, but I wanna uh, order drinks for the group. Let's get some, oh wait, one of them is, two of them are pregnant. You have insufficient funds. Okay, so we can't really go crazy. Uh, I guess, you know, sparkling water 
we love some water. We have two pregnant girls in our um at our party, so you know we want to be mindful of them. <laughs> so yes, sparkling water for everybody. Come on, who doesn't love sparkling water? <laughs> It's so funny. Ponder glass fullness? What does that mean? Just... Oh my god, wait a second. Are you Holly's kid by any chance? Are you related to Vlad? I haven't seen Holly in so long. Oh, I don't know. Louis Edgar, Haley Edgar? She definitely looks like she's related to Vlad. You're a vampire. You have to be, you have to be related. 100% related to Vlad. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell. You guys. Oh my god, this is so cute. I really wanted to have like a gathering. And it's working out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, make a toast. Oh my god, yes. Go make a toast. Yes. Funza. Funza. Whatever that means. No, you guys are leaving? Wait, the bar. It's only one o'clock. Come on, guys. I want to celebrate. Oh my god, where did I put the cake? Oh my god, wait. Where did I put the cake? Um, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Ooh, I got nervous. I'm gonna have Celeste come over here and age up. Because she is also getting tired, but I want to party for a little bit longer. Let's go have her make a wish. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing, Miss Madeline. Yes, celebrate with me, guys. Oh, come on. You got it. Come on. There we go. Oh, and it worked too. Yay. This is amazing. Oh, she's an adult. Kale sent us a gift from the dead too. Oh, we love to see it. All right, everybody, grab some cake. Come on. Take a piece together. Fern, yes, come sit next to me. Oh, my new besties. So maybe we won't have the affair tonight. Oh, hugging trash when you have a nice piece of cake. Yeah, that's Madeline. She's a little stanky right now. Yeah, I know. Heartfelt compliment. At least we can get to know her still. Restaurant nightclub. What? Nightclub? I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe it's her recommending the place. Oh, wait, all her sisters left. The only person that stayed was Rain. And Fern. Fern's the only one that stayed too. Okay. Why don't we, since she's here, why don't we go ahead and order a drink for the group? And since everybody who's pregnant left, we can actually go ahead and get some alcohol in their system. How much has our relationship gone up already? Oh my god, it's gone up so much. But we already know everything about her, her skills and stuff. We should probably get going soon though. Look at her with her cake and her wine. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I love it. Come join us. Oh no, Fern! Everybody is left. We're the only ones. And no, honey, we're gonna go home. But I think the birthday party was pretty successful, I would say. Don't think it was that bad. Wait, can I take this home with me? Wait, let me take this home. <laughs> I paid for it, so. I don't know where we got an element from, but apparently we did. As she aged up, she got an element, so I don't know what that's about. But, maybe, wait, mm, no, I think writing comes first because that's more priority as far as the career goes, so, well, maybe let me go level up her cooking, because that's going to take literally like five seconds. No, not our stove breaking. Well, good thing we have two, am I right? <laughs> I hate that when I click on this, I can't do like resume fabrication. I can only scrap it. I don't like that because it's wasting our materials. <gasps> two simoleons? No. Oh, we got two decorative plates. I'm selling those. We don't need them. 200 simoleons. We're rich again. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not rich, but you know. Continue writing. Even though we're not close, I don't think we're going to be able to level it up before work, but that's okay. I still want to see if we'll be able to ask for promotion. I just, I'm curious if it'll work or not. Even though we just got one, but... <gasps> Wait, step on pet poop? Where? Gold poop? Where? <gasps> oh my god, wait. Can we sell this? Oh. Apparently not, but I should be able to sell that. It's gold. <laughs> oh 
that's funny. Is she gonna step in it? I think she's gonna step in it. She did! Oh! Not on the car! The way she just tried. I think we're gonna end up taking Capri to the vet because there's clearly something wrong with him and I definitely want him to feel better, so I'll do that. Actually, I'll take him after she goes to work. The way that we don't actually have, um, like, relationships at all with, like, a boss or anything, I think that that's what I love about The Sims 3 is by default you get a relationship with them. We're gonna take you to the vet. Lecture about scratching and then we'll take them to the vet. Wait, are you feeling okay now? Oh, I think they're- Oh. I don't have the option to take to the vet anymore, so I think you're doing fine now. Yes? No? Maybe? At this point, I'm completely, like, neglecting our garden because we don't need it that much anymore. Although, I mean, we still kind of low-key need it, but it's not my main focus anymore. Oh my gosh, she brought $2,000 home? Ooh, okay. Sit in on a skill class. Oh, let's try and do that. We have the money. We can maybe send her over for, for writing. I don't know how much it'll lift up her skill, but it might be good. Oh my god, you can go in for a woohoo class? Let's go for writing. Where is it? Oh, probably at the bottom. Alright, go for that. Hopefully that levels it up fairly quick. So we're at 37. So we'll see when she comes back what it'll be at. Geoff or Jeff, I don't know, wants Moon to go to the hardware store at night with him and steal the needed supplies. Should Moon make a drab set or steal what's necessary to make a nice... No, don't steal. Okay, how is your social low if you're... At drama club that makes no sense to me y'all are interacting aren't you so anyways i'm gonna have him try and do his homework and then she should be home soon and then we can go and help the kids so that we can level up um her parenting skill oh it's doing pretty good actually sending her off to writing class <gasps> maybe i should do this more often if i need a skills to be leveled up hold on why didn't i ever make use of that before maybe i can go and do one for parenting Celeste just had an insightful writing class and looks forward to finding real-world applications. Okay, well, come here and help your kid. Um, so we got up to level 51. And we were, I think, 39, so that's a pretty good amount. So I do think I want to go out and hang out with Fern, just so we can get this affair done. The way he's just staring at her while she's in the shower. All right, let's, well, I'm gonna head out, you know, We're gonna awesome. go meet my girl, Fern. Don't you worry about anything. Nothing's going on yet. The good thing is, though, that they've already developed a pretty good friendship just from her birthday. It's alien night tonight. When is it not alien night, honestly? Oh, there is a bar. Okay. Well, let me go and order food first. Get some food here, and then we'll play bowling with is that stevie hi stevie i might have them go over here and play with fern oh there we go the lights on now i can see a little bit wow nice game fern you're so good <laughs> go join fern fern where you at she literally left fern i can't believe she left me Oh, there she is. Okay. That was so weird that she just, like, left. She's feeling pretty confident herself. There we go. I do need to start having Celeste be a little bit more flirty with her. Because how else am I going to kiss her? She's like, yeah, thanks. We became good friends. I'm going to try and flirt with her and see where that goes. <gasps> oh my god! It's working, guys. Blow her a kiss. The affair. The affair! Now you have an other emotional feelings for somebody else. Oh no, 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 no. I hate doing this, guys. I hate doing this so much. I can't. I feel so awful. Ooh, okay, we're just gonna go bowling for now. Invite to bowl. Uh, let's just do a small, a short game. Oh, I can't even invite Fern. Is this a joke? Wait, did Fern leave again? Ma'am, where are you going? Okay, I can hang for a bit, perfect. There we go, now I can uh, bowl. So maybe we can bowl and flirt a little. <gasps> First kiss, oh my god. I hate it here, I hate it here. But like, it's cute, but like, no. <laughs> I don't know. 
Let's go ball. Oh my god, she looks so blue. <laughs> Holy. She's really happy though, but like, oh my god, you can barely. She's literally an alien now. Okay, maybe we should disable moonlighting. Because, whoa. <laughs> that was a lot. She's thinking about woohoo. That's too far. I'm not. We can't woohoo with her. No. Celeste, that's too far. <gasps> Stop. Oh my god. Celeste. Oh, are we exchanging numbers? Okay. So it looks like we can flirt while we're doing this. Oh my god. We're gonna have to tell her eventually that we can only just be friends because cool. she clearly has a family, but she's at the moment, Celeste is kind of like, you know, she met Fern and she just kind of has this like different connection with her that she hasn't with any other person that she's met other than Atlas. And like, she kind of just wants to like test the waters, but but deep down, I think she knows that Alice is definitely the one for her. But she just wants to, like, try things out in case, you know, maybe she sparks something different with Fern. And, you know, I mean, let's just go give her a kiss and see if anything's here. Do you feel a spark or what's up? Let's see. So why don't you go get up there, Celeste, and kiss Fern and see what's up. They're clearly not bowling at this point. Bowling was just a way to make her stay longer. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna happen. I think Fern liked that. Fern definitely liked that. But Fern is also into women, so, you know. I feel bad because I feel like I'm playing with Fern's feelings because I feel like Celeste, no matter what, knows that she wants to be with Atlas. Again, she just wants to test things and see like if there's any possibility here because she's just feeling this like kind of connection like she does with her soulmate. So, I mean, who says you can't have more than one soulmate? It doesn't mean that you have to be romantically involved with the other one. So, I think that might be the case here. Which just, oh, it breaks my heart that I literally just had her cheat on Atlas. But it's over now. It's done. We had a little secret kiss, a little secret affair that nobody will know about except for Fern herself. But I think we'll talk to her um, the next time we hang out and, like, explain, like, I know I kissed you and, like, I don't know if you feel a certain way towards me, but I just want to let you know that, like, I am loyal to my husband, even though what I just did was really not that Mousy. loyal, but let me just say, it, it is what it is, unfortunately, so well, it's four o'clock in the morning, and she has to go to sleep. She also has work today, so, oh, wait, she doesn't actually have work today. Oh, well, that gives us time to level up her skill. Totally digging me. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship, a beautiful friendship, because we are not continuing that. Sorry. So I'll probably play the rest of Wednesday off camera and then most likely pick back up on Thursday. I think with that being said, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really enjoyed this episode, even though I was really not fond of having her cheat on Atlas. But I think it was just kind of exciting being able to actually go out instead of staying in the house all the time. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.